All right, guys, we'll do a little demonstration. Have a little fun. Uh, one of these, a video I've been thinking about doing is doing a video kind of, if you're under fire, what is safe to hide behind and what is not safe to hide behind. Um, and I just remember recently, I think it was last season of Walking Dead, I remember there's a shootout in the prison with the bad guys and the good guys. And they set up uh, wooden pallets and they're taking cover behind them and shooting from behind them. And uh, I just remember thinking that's probably not optimal. So we're gonna, I set up that uh, wooden barrier right there and behind it, I'll go to the side here. So behind it, I don't know if you can see it, I got a couple plastic uh, containers. Uh, I'm gonna we'll do a quick demonstration on why you don't hide behind small wooden structures. Bear with me. Again, I don't have all the my good camera stuff. Well, is that good? Can you see? Maybe. Ah, let's see what happens. All right, this is why you don't hide behind wooden structures. Now hopefully you got that. So, uh, that's why we don't hide behind pallets. They're, uh, we'll say less than adequate. Actually, I'll just lay that right there. I can shoot at it. So, I don't even know how many holes is in that thing. And this, you know, bullets pass through wood very easily. Unless you're hiding behind a tree. And even then, if it's a big enough bullet, it'll go right through. So, don't, behind, don't hide behind pallets. Don't do a Walking Dead style. 